There are two kinds of, of thinking that the, uh, the historians tell us, or I don't know what you call them, epistemologists tell us. Uh, there's inductive logic and deductive logic. And uh, inductive logic we associate with science, the scientific method. And we, we look at particular things, we study them, we examine them, we pile them up, and then we make a, a conclusion or a theory. Uh, deductive comes from down from above. It's like we associate that with religion. Religious statements are, are from on high. They're big statements. And somewhere around the Renaissance, science took over, uh, and we started to be skeptical of deductive statements, of big, big uh, statements from on high, and we only believed in concrete particulars which we built into a theory. Hence, science won out over religion. But I think that both of these modes are entirely human, both the, the inductive mode and the deductive mode, and both are extremely important. The great beings I think of as deductive beings. They come down from above. They channel wisdom and energy from the highest awareness. They offer shaktipat, or the awakening uh, of consciousness. They utter what I call G statements, I guess G for God or Guru statements, and these are non-ordinary teachings. They don't come from concrete particulars, they come from the inner intuition. They come from our highest nature and they point to it. They represent a hidden but essential possibility, a possibility that exists for all of us. They're visitors from above, from a world that at first seems like fantasy, but on, on uh, intense investigation turns out to be more real than ours. And such a being was the founder of our yoga, Bhagwan Nityananda. <clears throat> and I'm, I'll read something from him in, in the book that Swami Chaitanananda put together called the Chittakash Gita. Bhagwan Nityananda spoke very mysteriously and very aphoristically. He says, the real sunrise is in the sky of the heart, the Chittakash. This is the most excellent sunrise. So he's likening spiritual waking to the, the sunrise because it is. It's, it's an awakening to a, a part of ourselves, a modality that we've never known about. The sky of the heart, the Chittakash, the sky of consciousness. He says, just as the entire sun is reflected in the water jar, so the entire universe shines in the heart space of the Atman, or the self. A person who truly knows the self sees the whole universe within that self. He says, when you're in a train, the whole world appears to be moving. You look out the window, the world's moving. But actually, the world's not moving, the train is moving. He says, similarly, the whole universe can be known within the self. And I think when we get together, what we're saying and we're bearing witness to is that there is a great being within every one of us. And sooner or later, that great being will emerge. I'm not saying might emerge, I'm saying will emerge. So. I'm just suggesting let's let him out sooner rather than later. It can be this life, it could be next life, or three lives from now, it's, it's our choice. So let's let him out sooner. <laughs>